Ah. Thumbnail squad in the building. Thumbnail squad in the building. Team Low on. Also in the building. We got damn near takedown yesterday in a showdown. Some contests took down. I finished fifth place in my contest, but uh, some of the family got first place. They took down, so it was a takedown lineup that I had provided for the family. And I had to get thanks to Draft Dashboard, man. The tool y'all see on the screen, um, it came through off one stack, and that was the past history. This tool got the past history, and a lot of tools don't show that. Like, as y'all can see right here, like the last five games, John Moran got 64, 49, 35. It shows all that, right? But I'm gonna get to it when I, when I show y'all the line and, and show y'all what I seen on Draft Dashboard, man. If it weren't for Draft Dashboard, I would never pick this player. I was debating on him and O'Neal, but we'll get to it. This your boy DCPRT, AKA Space of the DFS Club. Let's get into today's slate. Like my video, comment your favorite player for today's slate and subscribe to my channel, appreciate that. Let's get into it, man. We'll be going over DraftKings FanDuel and also prize picks, man. So let's get into it. So also main slate, man, uh, I ended up cashing on FanDuel and uh, missed on DK main slate, but the showdown took care of everything. That's all you need. So I ended up finishing eighth place in my showdown uh, contest. Very solid, man. And that started my day off very, very nice. This was the Jazz contest, uh, the Jazz showdown. Uh, here, here goes my line right here. Uh, I went with Crowder at captain spot. Booker, Mitchell, Gobert, Clarkston, and Johnson. Keezy played it. Uh, he got first place in his contest, made 350 bucks, man. Nice way to start off the slate, man. So. Uh, that's my line I gave to everybody. And you can also get it too. If you go to dfsclub.com, I will show y'all the instructions when I get done showing the family's lineups, man. Shout out to Keys, man. Mr. MB made $1,000 on prize picks. Shout out to Mr. MB, and I will be talking about prize picks. Triple OG also cashed on prize picks, made 150 bucks. Chris D got third place. What's second place? Woods played NASCAR, 13th place. Skywalker cash on DK and FanDuel on his NASCAR. Uh, Phoenix played NASCAR also. They smashed in NASCAR. We play every single sport, y'all. Julio, who made $100,000 a couple days ago. Uh, cash also on FanDuel. Shout out to you, Julio. Wolverine, 17th place, 24th place. T. Dub Jr. Cashing seventh place. Decker finishing first place. Got a takedown uh, on a showdown. Man, we've been crushing the showdown yesterday. Finished first place. Made almost two hundred bucks. Jump cashing. Got sixth place. Tenth place. Julio again. JJ finished thirteenth place. All the way cashed. Go check out my man Skywalker video. I want persona cash. Savage, 88 cash, Visu cash, Brad cash, shot to Brad. So let's try to get this takedown again, man. If you want to get with the winning team, the DFS Club, go to DFSclub.com. You got me, Skywalker DFS, my brother from another mother. We play every single sport, NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, MMA, WBA, college sports, UL basketball, SFL. Click join now. Click my logo. And we got four plans. We got the bronze plan, the silver plan, the gold plan, and the three-day pass if you want to try us out. We have built lineups, 24-7 tips and advice, GPP cash cheat sheets, bankroll management if you need help with that. Live pregame podcast. We do a podcast every hour before a lot, man. Dropping gems, man. I gave the family that Olenic play. He went off of 40. Let's get it. Uh, we drop gems, man. We call out plays in there, man. We got Spidey Sense plays in there. Uh... We give our thoughts on cheap plays that could go off and shit, they be going off. So make sure you tune in to the live pregame podcast. Um, pre lock insight, we'll be on top of the news, any late scratches, uh, anything like that. Y'all know how NBA is, man. It's good to get with a community so you can stay on top of this news, man, so you don't miss out. Uh, and lineup build, man. I provided that showdown lineup to everybody. Everybody cash. 
plenty of uh, people t took down or came close to the takedown. So we made good money yesterday. So line up build. And I will also help you with your lineup if you want to build your own lineup. So get with the winning team, the DFS Club. We'll be glad to have you. So, so let's get into it, man. I got 11 players for y'all on DraftKings and FanDuel. And also prize picks. We had some big winners on prize picks. Mr. MB made $1,000. And also Triple G made $100, $150 on prize picks. So this is prize picks. Prize picks is a DFS parlay website. All you're doing is picking the over or under on these players. You're not dealing with any sharks or anybody like that in the contest. It's just you and the projections. How the play is. You got to pick at least two, three, or four players. It goes by FanDuel point scoring. And uh, two players, if you get them right, say you take the over on Cardinals and Towns, you take the over on Jared Allen. You come down here and place your bet. That's all you have to do, man. And uh, whatever you put in, so you see $20 turn to $60, $80 turn to $240, $5 turn into $15. It automatically calculates your winnings three times. And all you have to do is get two players right. Three players, if you get them right, is five times your money. So you can pay out more money by just by getting three players right. That same five dollars turn to twenty-five dollars, so on and so on. Whatever you put in, it's gonna be five times your money. And four players, if you get them right, it's ten times your money. So this maximum amount you can make on prize picks. It's that five dollars turn to fifty dollars now. So you can really get really getting paid with a four-man pick. A fifty dollars turn to five hundred. It's ten times your money just by getting four players right. I got promo code. My promo code is space S P A C E into that end of prize picks to give you a deal. The deal is they got a 100% deposit match going on right now, so take advantage of this free money they're giving out just by using my promo code space S P A C E. So it's up to $100. So if you want to deposit $100 in your account, you will have $200 in your account just by using my promo code off the rip. You deposit at least $25. I say deposit at least $25. I think you get your credit. When you deposit at least $25 or more. But if you deposit $25, bucks, you are going to automatically have $50 in your account. So take advantage of that free money, man. I would max it out to get that free money to uh, play. So use my promo code space, S-P-A-C-E. The two picks I like for today is, um, like always, this is my first look. This is my exact first time looking at this. Um, I'm gonna take the over on some bonus. I think he can get an over 45 on OKC. OKC just they terrible down low, man. They got nobody that can stop the bonus down low. He's just smashed, so I like him. And um, and I'm gonna take Jimmy Butler over. Uh, Chicago defense not that good. Uh, we like to target Chicago, so um, this Jimmy Butler's old team. Plus you got Kyle Lowry out, and he's 42. I think he can easily get 45 plus in this game. So I like Jimmy Butler over 20, over 42 points. And I like uh, the Munchie Sabonis at 45. So those are my two picks on prize picks. And you can also play multiple sports, soccer, NHL, uh, tennis, ja, whatever that sport is. I mean, you can play anything. Uh, you can miss the match. You can put an NHL player. You can put Nicholas Backstrom with Sabonis and Butler. You can do whatever you want. So if you, like, if you play multiple sports, you got multiple options, you know, to win money. So... Join the prize pitch fund. It's my promo code space S P A C E and win some money. All right, let's get into this slate, man. With these picks, I got 11 players. And please, oh y'all, forgot to tell y'all. Drive dashboard is the reason why we got that takedown yesterday. So back to the lineup. Clarkston. I was debating on Clarkston and O'Neal, right? So. I raw pick. I don't even really look at all the analytics, all the computer shit. I don't look at it like that because I don't play 150 lineups. Um, I raw pick. I just look at players, simple stuff. I put my team together and that's it, man. I may glance at some stats and stuff, but I really raw pick. So I was debating on Carson and O'Neal. I looked at the game log and I seen O'Neal more, a little bit more consistent than Carson and played more minutes than him. So I said, let me go with O'Neal. But I needed confirmation, you know, get a, get a bit of little help. So I went to, um, went to drive dashboard, and you know, this was the icing on the cake. So, see, I look at John Morant. It was Clarkson right there, and I looked at the game log. I'm like, damn, Clarkson going off. He played well against uh Phoenix Suns. He had like three games straight with forty burgers. So I'm like, hmm. I look at past history. And 
I look at it like this. Past history, it is relevant. Uh, sometimes you do got to do a little bit more research looking at past history or based off of what happened. But it's a reason why they went off. And it's a reason why they went off those, those many times. Like, it's a reason why. Like, he has that number. He like playing the sun. It's, it's just right in your face. So I said, okay, let me pick Clarkson. And guess what he do? <laughs> he went for 37. He went off again. So thank the draft dash board, man. Um, get this tool for $1 for 30 days. That's it. $1 for 30 days, man. It got all of this tool on the screen. All this goodness you need, you know, that's helpful, you can use. It shows the usage that everybody uh, talks about, the value, the hit feature, the pumping minute, uh, the game logs, everything. The cheat sheet. Get this tool for $1 for 30 days. And I got to give it credit, man. I will never pick Clark if I didn't see that game log, um, the past history. So, thank the draft dashboard for getting us that takedown. Because um, Clarkston was 10% on. Was nobody, nobody was on him. So, shout out once again, draft dashboard. So, let's get into the player, man. Um, I got 11 players. Start off at the top. John Morant uh, against Memphis. And I'm going to talk about Dejounte Murray at the same time. You can stack these two players, man. I think they both going to go off. They both playing each other. Both fast-paced teams. Um, San Antonio is faster than Memphis. So Memphis is paced up, but they damn near bit identical in pace, man. They're going to they gonna crush. You know, I feel like John Morant and Murray going to go at it. They both all-stars. And, uh... John Morant 10 1 on FanDuel and 9 what 9 7 on DK. I like that price tag for John Morant. He playing 36 minutes. They got some injuries. So I like John Morant against San Antonio. Ness is bound. Uh, he had a slow start last game, man, but ended up finishing with 63, man. Straight crushing it, man. 9,900 on FanDuel and he's uh, 8 8 8 on DK, man. I like both the price tags. He's showing off. He's showing out. They playing against Chicago. I like targeting Chicago, especially with the bids, man. They weak down low. Last three games are 28, 44, and 47. Um, I don't think Vucevic was playing when he played, but I have to do more research. That's why I say you got to do the research and see who was on the team at that time. Uh, the whole nine, but um, I like, bam. I like targeting centers against Char uh, Chicago. That's the Demondis bonus against OKC. As y'all can see, man, last two games, 68 and 68, man, I guess OKC. OKC, OKC is just too small down low. 9,700 on FanDuel and 9.5 on DK. I like the month of Sabonis. As y'all can see, OKC is ranked 30th in the league against Sinners. It's the reason why they rank 30th in the league against Sinners. They're just too small. They're too, they too young, inexperienced. Only experienced player they got down low is Favors, and they barely play him. So the, the month of Sabonis should have a field day down low against OKC. And a good thing about OKC, they don't get blowed out. They stay in the game. They stay in games, man. So that's a positive. And it's bonus probably gonna be low on just cause of that. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people just say, okay, see, they suck. They may get blowed out. Nope, that's not the case, man. They do suck, but they don't get blowed out. They keep games competitive. And that's the thing that we do know. Um that helps a lot too. Next is uh, Jante Murray, 9,700 on FanDuel and 10-6 uh, on DK. I like him against Memphis. Like I said, same thing like John Morant. They're going to smash, man. I like uh, Murray, triple-double upside. He should do his thing. Next is Jimmy Butler, 8,600 on FanDuel and 8-9 on DK. No Kyle Lowry, so it may be point Jimmy Butler. He should smash. He do very well against Chicago, 4-4, 56, 4-4, and a 57. You know, that's the former team. And he should smash. I like uh, Jimmy Butler. That's the Jaren Jackson Jr. 7K on FanDuel and 6 7 on DK. I like their price tag on both sites. Playing against San Antonio. Fast paced matchup. Last time he played San Antonio, got a 49. Um, they got us uh, center out. They got Clark out. I think Clark questionable. So they could get him a little bit more minutes. I like Jaren Jackson Jr. against the, the uh, Spurs. This is Cole Anthony, the price tag. I just like the price tag. 6100 on FanDuel. And uh, he's 6-8 on DK. More of a FanDuel play for me. And they basically it, man. Really, just his price tag. And we know he got upside. And they playing against Indiana. So, I like Cole Anthony. This is Malcolm Brogdon, man. Out the gate, they played him 30 minutes. That's all I need to see, you know. 5800 man. That's too cheap for Brogdon playing 30 minutes. Now, he's uh, 6 what, 6 9 on DK. I still like that price tag. Or oh, seven, no, seven one on DK. 
The price tag okay, but he more of a fan to play for me. Basically, that's the Kyle Anderson. He played 28 minutes last game, but I think because the Clark was out. So if Clark is out, I like Kyle Anderson. Only if Clark is out. If Clark is in, I'm off with Kyle Anderson. They're not really trying to play this dude. I don't know why they're not trying to play him, but if Clark is out, man, we know Kyle Anderson can go off. You know, he played 28 minutes, got a 32. He's a point per minute monster. They're just not playing him, but he's very cheap on DK. He's only um, 3.8 on DK. So if Clark is out, I think Kyle Anderson is a steal on DK. That's Jamie Lamb. They're playing this man. Uh, back to, he's back to 30 minutes. His debut, he played 30 minutes, and now he's back to 30 minutes. So I like Jamie Lamb. 4,300 on FanDuel. He's even cheap on DK. Uh, he's he's 3.8 on DK. I like Jamie Lamb. They keep playing on 30 minutes. And that's the game of Vincent. Um, probably going to start, you know, and he's a good pump for me, the guy. 3,900 on FanDuel and 3,600 on DK. Cheap price tag. Probably gonna play 30 minutes with Kyle Lowry out. So I like Gabe Vincent. And those are my picks. Make sure you get with the winning team at DFS Club. Go to DFSclub.com. Click join now and click my logo to sign up. Also, um, also with prize picks, enter my promo code space S P E C E and get that free money from prize picks. And draft dashboard, man. Gotta give them credit one more time. They, they was the reason why I made that pick. So shout out to Draft Dash Boy 2. Get this tool for $1 for 30 days. Click the link in my description to get it. That's it for this video. I'm done. Shout out to the family. Shout out to the YouTube squad. Thumbnail squad. Team Low On. Let's get it. Peace.